Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Razor Sharp Productions and just going to show you a quick video of our new bikes. And this is the Trek 1120. And then uh, back there is the Trek Powerfly 5. So stay tuned and I'm going to have Lance from Bearded Monkey do an intro and a quick info on this bike. All right, I'm Lance from Bearded Monkey Cycling. I'm here with Cindy and Amar to talk about Amar's new uh, Trek 1120 Adventure Touring Bike. This thing is awesome. The uh, 1120 is based on the Trek Stash, which came out about two years ago. It came out in what they call a 29 plus wheel size. The 29 plus is pretty unique and it's pretty cool. It gives you a huge tall tire with a huge or a huge tall wheel with a huge tall tire and a huge wide tire on it. This gives us a massive wheel that rolls over everything and it gives us a, a, a tire that's really versatile in running different tire pressures. So we can run this tire pressure a little bit firmer so that it rolls very fast on smoother surfaces, but more importantly, we can drop the pressure in this tire way, way down to say 11, 12, 13 PSI and just make kind of the ultimate rock crawler um, and go over everything. This bike, uh, based on the stash, can do no wrong with these big wheels on it. It rolls fast, it rolls smooth, it has unlimited amounts of traction. Uh, if you go into a loose sandy terrain, it's gonna hook up and grip into it. Um, if you miss a corner, if you do anything wrong, this bike wants to stay upright, plow through it, roll over everything in its past. So it's super, super cool. Great to see this coming out in what they call an adventure touring trim on this. So what they did with the stash is they got rid of the suspension fork. Now we'd seen the stash before without a suspension fork and it was kind of like an oversized dirt jumper. So really, really nice tight rear end to it, made acceleration and handling really spot on where you can really throw the bike around. Um, and really rigid, so think of it like a, a super-sized BMX bike. Um, now in the adventuring uh, garb, we add some racks to it. So we've got a front rack on here. This is great for a roll stuff sack on the front. This is great for a sleeping pad, whatever other gear you want to put up there nice and out of the way. We've got lots of different rack mounts down the fork here. That's going to be able to secure additional front racks or additional uh, stuff sacks that can mount to those forks. Nice comfy bat wing bar keeps you in an upright pulled back position. Uh, it's going to be good leverage for mountain biking. It's also going to be comfortable for all day in the saddle. We've got on the back, we've got a touring rack on the back. This allows you to put a stuff sack on the back or stuff sacks down the side. Remember, bike packing is all about taking your tent, taking your gear, going unsupported across the country uh, and taking everything with you yourself. And so you wanna be light, you wanna be efficient, and you've gotta be able to pedal your machine with you. Uh, and this rig certainly allows you to do that. Now, a couple key features on this bike that make it really unique. We've got these big wide tires, and in order to keep a nice chain line here on, on this frame, they elevate the rear chain stay so it's above the chain line. This allows you to keep a nice tight, what they call Q factor, that's how wide your pedals are. Uh, it's gonna affect the pedaling performance of your hips, um, and so it allows you to keep a nice chain line there um, uh, with a narrow uh, fit. We've got what they call boost spacing on this, so it's a wider spacing on the rear end that allows us to, to get this wide tire in here, as well as have a really, really strong angle on these spokes, so you're not gonna get any flex on the wheels. When we're talking about the wheels, they're using a 50 millimeter wide rim. Um, that gives you a really square profile on your tire. If you had a narrower wheel, you'd get a really balloon shaped tire out of it. And when you tried to corner hard on it, uh, especially at low pressures, that tire could kind of roll on there. This is gonna keep a nice, nice square profile on that and really let you take advantage of the low pressures. 
nice low gearing on this. So we've got a, a one by 11 drivetrain. So we've got one gear in the front. We've got 11 gears in the back, a nice wide range cassette, 11 to 42. The idea here is that we're getting the same range of gearing out of a one by system that we would out of many more gears while eliminating dropped chains, um, all of the other issues that come with the front derailleur. Now, when we eliminate the front derailleur, we can also free up space for a nice uh, dropper post lever. This allows us to raise and lower the seat post on the fly. Uh, this came out in mountain biking as a way to not have to stop and adjust your seat clamp anytime you were changing terrain. On uh, an adventure touring bike, this is great for getting on and off the bike under load, for navigating through technical terrain where you want to be able to maybe dab a foot down here and there, um, or get that bike up into your optimal pedaling position. You're spending all day in the saddle. Sometimes you get fatigued sometimes you're going through technical terrain this bike will handle whatever you throw at it right on Any other no? <laughs> thank you yeah you bet